And the big news tonight is just hours ago, Iran launched more than a dozen missiles from Iran into Iraq, targeting U.S. troops. And we showed you that video of the attack. You can just hear the people screaming in the background. You saw those missiles in the air. This video is from the Iranian state TV tonight. It is believed these missiles did not make their intended targets. And according to the Defense Department, the northern Iraq uh, air base, Erbil, and Al-Assad air base in western Iraq were targeted. Both of these areas house U.S. troops. President Trump even visited Al-Assad air base two Christmases ago. Take a look. The president tweeted, quote, all is well and so far so good. He is expected to address the nation tomorrow about this attack, and the full Congress is also expected to get a full briefing. This is a big moment in U.S. history. These attacks come after the U.S. assassinated Iran's top general last week. His death has in directly cost dozens of others lives. 56 Iranians died this morning in a stampede during a funeral procession for the general. And keep in mind, this is all part of a series of attacks between the U.S. and Iran, and there is a major Sacramento connection. It all started weeks ago when a U.S. contractor was killed in Iraq. And we want to go now out live to ABC 10's Van 2 tonight because, Van, the U.S. contractor killed lived here in Sacramento. That is right, and his name was Narwez Walid Hamid, and the all-volunteer team here at the Greater Sacramento Muslim Cemetery say that he was buried here on Saturday in a quiet and intimate ceremony. Hamid was the Iraqi-American linguist who was killed in a attack on December 27th, according to the contractor Valiant, Valiant Integrated. Now, it was his death that President Trump vowed to avenge. Look at this tweet that he sent out on December 31st, saying Iran killed an American contractor, wounding many. We strongly responded and always will. So Hamid's death, thus launching an escalation of events between the U.S. and Iran up to today when uh, the country launched missile attacks on two Iraqi air bases housing U.S. troops. This an act of revenge after a U.S. drone strike killed the country's top military commander Qasem Soleimani on Friday and that is when the next day Hamid was buried here in Sacramento. Now back to the ties here at home. Hamid had lived at, in Arden at the Garden Plaza Apartments. He leaves behind a wife and children. We spoke to one neighbor who says that his family was always kind in the community and it broke his heart to hear that he was killed. Lose their breadwinner, their father and he was father and he was a husband for that wife and it's going to be really tough it's really tough And meanwhile, Congresswoman Doris Matsui issued a statement saying, quote, Narwes served and sacrificed for our nation, and we all owe him a debt of gratitude. We're live in Sacramento. Madison, Chris. Mm, Van, we thank you for that live update.